What is up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the ever-charming Dr. Disaster, and just like absolutely everything that Kathleen Kennedy's Star Wars creates, the trailer for this upcoming Star Wars Outlaws game is getting completely effing destroyed. As I predicted yesterday, the trailer was ratioed. What I didn't expect was how bad it would get ratioed this fast. It currently has 30,000 likes to a whopping 65,000 dislikes. It is so damned embarrassing that apparently the lead writer for this thing has gone ahead and locked her Twitter account so that only approved people can read it. Now, we all know why, of course. This will, at some point, be turned into a victim narrative, but I don't think that we'll be apologizing anytime soon. You want me to take back some of those mean and hurtful little things I said? I'm sorry, you're just a little turd. Now you get on out in my face while I pick you up and toss you out that window. Alright me hearties, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, and also, don't forget to follow me over on Twitter where I am keeping a list of woke slash DEI infested games pinned to my account at all times, my handle over there is Dr. Disaster one But let's have a look at what might have made this writer close up shop and head for the hills. I mean, as recently as a year ago, she was super proud to announce that she was the lead writer for this turd. Look at how happy she was. She had a website as well where she listed all of her work, and now it looks like she's also locked people out of that website. <laughs> Oh, but baby. <laughs> now, if you've seen the trailer, you will understand why she is so embarrassed. People are ripping it apart because the writing is plastic, corporate, try to appeal to everyone, and lean on nostalgia bullshit. And the main character in it looks like a mogwai got viciously beaten with the ugly stick. If I put these two images up together, I dare you to try to tell which one is the Mogwai and which one is from Star Wars Outlaws. Oh shit, I just realized that the Star Wars one has the logo in the upper right corner. I should have taken that out. Otherwise, it would have probably been a 50-50 guess. You asshole. I am an asshole. Yeah, I proudly admit it. I'm an a-hole. I feel no sympathy for criticizing the work of these people. And nobody should, in my opinion. I felt the same way when the Acolyte trailer came out last month and got destroyed. That one is currently at 189,000 likes to an unbelievable 668,000 dislikes. But no sympathy from me. These people hate us, and this is what they get. Everything Disney Star Wars deserves to get destroyed. But let's look at some of the top rated comments on this trailer and you will get a sense of where public sentiment is at. The first comment has 12,000 likes, so going on half of the likes of the trailer itself, it says, never believe Ubisoft until you try the game yourself. Logical. And then this comment has 8.2 thousand likes. It says, remember, never pre-order from Ubisoft. And I'm going to amend that just a little bit. Never pre-order from anyone. Modern game devs generally hate you, and they need to prove their quality and that they actually want your business. Do not feed this industry blindly. In fact, do not feed it at all. Anyhow, this next comment with 4.6 thousand likes says, Ubisoft told me to be comfortable not owning their games. I'm going to be very comfortable not buying this. 
And of course, this guy is referring to Ubisoft not long ago, telling gamers that players aren't the actual owners of digital copies of games. I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Ubisoft and Disney Star Wars equals credibility zero. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think I've seen an unholier alliance since Disney bought Star Wars in the first place. But then, here is this comment which made me chuckle. I never thought I could spot a wig in a video game, but here we are. And then this guy says, don't give money to people who hate you, with 1.5 thousand likes. And this fella says, Ubisoft needs to get used to consumers not buying their games, and that one had 1.9 thousand likes. This comment here, with 1.1 thousand likes, says, I just came to read all the comments trashing Ubisoft, and I'm not disappointed. No, I can't imagine that this guy is disappointed at all. But you know who is? Ubisoft and Disney. This has got to be soul crushing. And this guy here says, nah, you won't get me on nostalgia anymore. And I'm pretty sure that is how a vast majority of Star Wars fans feel nowadays. Disney was greedy, they went for the quick and easy bucks, just churning out shit with the Star Wars logo on it, but now the check has come due, and people don't trust the brand any longer. But my favorite comment is this next one. The dude quotes the trailer at first, saying, you wanna survive? know the players. And then he says, funny, that line should have come from Ubisoft. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. In a way, the pairing of Ubisoft and Lucasfilm is kind of perfect because neither of them know their player slash fan base. Neither of them understand how to communicate with people any longer because the entertainment industries no longer hire professionals. They hire activists and ideologues who have a vague idea of what they're doing from a job perspective. Maybe that is why Master of the TDS on Twitter has caught these bozos using bots again, this time on this very story trailer, because they know they can no longer reach their audience. Organically, they will only get crushed like they did with this trailer. Now, we don't know for sure if the writer of this game protected her account and her website because of the game itself, but I damn sure suspect it. The timing is suspicious at the very least, and I'll say this, if she isn't embarrassed by the reception to this game, then she damn well should be. But I will leave it there. What do you make of this writer for Star Wars Outlaws protecting her account? And what do you think of that trailer getting ratioed to hell? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below and we will talk there. Thanks for watching me hearties. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.